We've been speaking about President Obama's meeting today with congressional leaders in an effort to restart the stalled debt ceiling talks. The president says that the talks were very constructive, but there is still a lot of hard bargaining ahead. Nothing is agreed to until everything's agreed to, and the parties are still far apart on a wide range of issues. Now, the administration says a deal on raising the debt limit needs to be reached before August 2nd. That's the deadline just 26 days away. Mark your calendar. All right, let's talk about the importance of the debt ceiling with my next guest, Heather Boucher, senior economist at the Center for American Progress. And we have J.D. Foster, a senior fellow in the economics of fiscal policy at the Heritage Foundation. Welcome to Bloomberg. Heather, let me begin by asking you your comments about uh, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi's uh, interview with the Peter Cook. Did you hear anything in there that leads you to believe we've got a deal coming? <laughs> Well, I won't speculate on that. Um, you know, it certainly seems like they're making progress. It's good to hear that they're at least in the room talking. And certainly, I think everyone understands, um, or at least hopefully by now they should all understand, the urgency of making sure that we address this debt ceiling uh, before August 2nd, because there are really important economic implications if we don't. Most importantly, um, it's likely to affect both the financial markets and interest rates, and all of that is not going to be good for our unemployment problem and is likely to to actually exacerbate unemployment. So it's good to know that they're talking and, um, and hopefully they'll come up with a plan that will boost uh, employment in the short run and, and address the, the debt ceiling. J.D. Foster, what does it say about the politics in Washington that we basically have gone over the deadline of the debt ceiling, but we've extended it somehow to August the 2nd? I mean, these, it sounds like they're playing Russian roulette with a pretty, pretty difficult catastrophe coming up. Well, not really. They're playing the standard game that happens every time we hit the debt limit. We hit the debt limit. Treasury then dips into its uh, toolbox of financial management tools and extends the period for a while. It announces a final date in which the toolbox is exhausted. And then you have to have some uh, deal uh, to raise the debt limit at that point, or the government will have to live entirely within its means, spending only the revenues that come in. This is the way a negotiation works. I'm surprised uh, people are, uh, are surprised about this. You got a tough negotiation. People talk about position. They, uh, they figure out where the other side's weaknesses and give might be. And then as you get close to the money moment, you come to an agreement. That's what we're seeing now. Now we're finally getting close to that money moment, August 2nd. And they're getting more serious about uh, hard tack negotiations. Do you think we get an agreement, J.D. Foster? Uh, I'm inclined to think uh, we will. Uh, get an agreement. Uh, I think all sides want to get an agreement. There's no guarantee they will. Somebody may throw a monkey wrench in at the last moment. Uh, but everyone understands that the debt limit uh, is a pretty serious uh, issue. Uh, we, we're going to have to face that just as we have to face our fiscal plight. We're spending way too much money. Budget deficits are way too high. They've got to come down. Uh, everyone understands that this is the moment when the political processes and the economic forces, uh, financial forces, all come together in one moment. It happens to be a debt limit. It's a little arbitrary, but that's where we are. And we're finally going to make some choices about the course of fiscal policy for the next couple of years. This is the moment. Everyone understands that. Heather Boucher, does this mean that both Republicans and Democrats are going to have to blink, give up something that they don't want? Well, certainly that's a part of every negotiation. But there's a couple of points I want to make on what J.D. said. I mean, first of all, you know, over the past decade, we have actually increased the debt limit, you know, had what, what Nancy Pelosi called for, a clean increase, not tying it to a bunch of other things. So this is actually uh, not the not the uh, the only path forward. Uh, the White House had initially requested that we just pass a clean debt ceiling increase and then move on to this very important conversation about the fiscal issues. But those are unrelated uh, in many ways to the, uh, to the need to... Oh. All right, we've got increase to, the debt limit. We've got to leave it there. I want to thank you very much, Heather Boucher, as well as J.D. Foster, your insights you. on the debt ceiling and the debt limit. Appreciate it.